This presentation will provide you with some important information about your upcoming angiogram. It's a joint initiative between Heart Research Australia as well as Royal North Shore Hospital and North Shore Private Hospital. A coronary angiogram is an x-ray examination of the arteries that supply blood to the heart. It is often performed to look for any blockages that may occur as a result of coronary artery disease. This is a normal coronary artery. This is an artery containing plaque. This is a blocked coronary artery. When you arrive at the cardiac catheter laboratory, you'll be welcomed by our staff. A nurse will insert an intravenous cannula if you haven't already had one. A doctor will discuss the procedure with you and obtain your consent. After entering the cath lab, you'll be asked to lie flat on the x-ray table. Here you will be given some intravenous sedation to help relax you and to minimise any discomfort. A device called a sheath is then inserted into a site at either the leg or the wrist. You may feel slight discomfort as the sheath is inserted. A small tube called a catheter is then passed up the artery to the heart under live x-ray guidance. Here the doctor will inject dye into the arteries. These images are then recorded on computer. Our team of expert radiographers then moves the x-ray machine to different angles to help the doctor identify any blockages of the coronary arteries. If a significant blockage is found, it may be necessary to use a balloon and stent to widen the artery at the site of the blockage or narrowing. Throughout your angiogram, you will be monitored by our cardiac technicians via ECG and monitoring of your blood pressure is recorded at the end of the catheter. If there are lots of complex blockages, you may be referred to a cardiothoracic surgeon for consideration of a bypass operation. In some cases, a doctor may recommend the use of medications to stabilise and manage disease processes and reduce your chance of having a heart attack without the need for a stent. Coronary angiograms are commonly performed and generally very safe. However, because it is an invasive procedure, there are some risks involved. The risk of a serious complication, such as heart attack, stroke or death, is approximately 1 in 1,000 or 0.1%. Less serious complications include bleeding, kidney impairment and allergic reactions, as well as local bruising. If a stent is required, there is a possibility of additional complications, although this is low, and down the track, a stent may narrow or block off, requiring additional procedure. After the procedure, you'll be monitored in the recovery area. You may have to lie flat for a few hours, and you may have a pressure device to stop any bleeding. Diagnostic angiogram is usually a day only procedure with most people going back to work the next day. If you require a stent, you may have to stay in hospital overnight. If you've had a stent inserted, you will be started on some medications that help stop blood cells sticking to your stent, to help your heart recover and to stop any new blockages. At the age of 52, life changed me forever. I fell into some very cold water in a river and I had a heart attack. Happily, there was an ambulance nearby recently fitted out with the latest communication equipment funded by Heart Research Australia. That got me to the hospital quickly, into the cath lab, and the doctors worked their magic on my arteries. Life after my heart attack could not have been better. I live now by the maxim, treat every day as a gift. That's why they call it the present. I can only say that I always will appreciate the work of Heart Research Australia in putting money into these life-saving technologies and for the doctors for using that money to bring back life and give back life to those people who have been through what I went through. Leaving the hospital is just the start of your recovery journey with cardiac rehabilitation and a heart-healthy lifestyle forming an important part of your everyday routine. A long-standing collaboration between Royal North Shore Hospital and North Shore Private Hospital ensures all our patients get the best possible cardiovascular care in a combined centre of excellence. Patients benefit from a shared suite of state-of-the-art catheter laboratories and a team of expert cardiologists, surgeons, nurses, radiographers and technicians who are able to provide treatment 24 hours a day. Research is vital to continuing to make improvements in how patients with coronary heart disease are treated. During your treatment, you may be asked to participate in one of the research studies conducted by our academic cardiologists and their teams. We encourage you to consider this as cardiology is one of the most rapidly advancing fields and improved treatment of coronary artery disease through research has the potential to save many lives in the future.
Heart Research Australia was established in 1986 by cardiologists at the Royal North Shore Hospital who wanted to reduce the high death rates from heart disease. The foundation supports seed funding for researchers to test innovative new ways to prevent, diagnose and treat heart disease. For further information, please visit the Heart Research Australia website.